in the last video you saw me having problems with the fuel injector. I don't know which one it was, but uh, I'm going to clean them all out, and that's what I'm here to show you. Um, one of the things that I like to do first to prepare for this is cut a few sections of 5 16 inch hose. This is for a very simple reason, and I'll show you in just a minute. What I do with these is something very simple. Roll each one of these injector seals off carefully because they're in good shape and I'm going to use them. And I cram that down on the end of the injector. I happen to have an old fuel rail. Yeah. One of many. Uh, I think I've got enough of those laying around. But anyway, uh, I'm just going to use this as a stand for the injectors. I'll place each one of these in a hole. And I'm going to use a turkey baster to extract some fuel system cleaner. This is BG fuel injection system cleaner. And the reason I use this is because it is not harmful to any fuel system components including gaskets, hoses, metals, fuel pumps, or O-rings. So that's my primary reason for using this. There you go. Uh, some injectors are safe with alcohol. That won't be a problem for those, but I would just say as a good rule of thumb, use the right fluid that it's designed to work with. So I'm just going to take some of this fuel injector cleaner here with the turkey baster and I'm going to squish a little in each hose. I suppose this works better with gravy than it does thin chemicals. We'll let that sit aside. Now I'll get to explaining this part of the process in just a minute. One of the things I'm going to do is apply voltage to the injector to get that solution on both sides of the valves. Now I'm going to note where the levels are and if I come back and one of them's drained all the way down that means it's stuck open. So this just gives me the means of uh, checking its actual health. So just top this all back off. Let's see it in the view. Getting cats and dogs outside. Well, it's the perfect thing to do on a rainy day. Let's get back to work.
All right, I spent about the past hour flowing fluid through it, and uh, what I ended up with is something that looks about that color. So obviously it got some uh, considerable amount of gunk out of there because that was the color of apple juice or Mountain Dew. It was a lot more yellow before. So uh, at this point now, I've got all of the valves opening on the injectors. Hold the battery in place. And That's a good thing. That's a good thing. That's all four of them. Good times. So I'm gonna put these back in the car. And let's see if we have anything different going on with the uh, with the injectors' behavior.